guys, it's Cheyenne hey. and Ruth. We are out here flounder gigging tonight. It's a Friday night and Beautiful. we had nothing better to do but get out on the boat and see if we can't get some flounder. So Chad and Dave are on the bow with the light and gig at the moment. And we're on their little John boat, their little aluminum boat. So there's not a ton of room or else me and Ruth would be up there too. But at the moment we're kind of stuck back here. Anyway, it's a beautiful night. It's really still. Let's see if I can get in on the water. We've got quite a bit of fresh water um, back in here today because there, it's been flooding nonstop every day in Florida. And basically the locks fill up and then they release them and we get all of the bad side effects, which is algae, heart, uh, toxic algae blooms. We get gar, walking catfish, armored catfish, all of that in places where it should be strictly salt water because it turns the water brackish to fresh, um, which hopefully will push the flounder around a little bit because they're uncomfortable. So we'll see if we can find them. In the meantime, stay tuned and wait for it. How trimmed up is that motor? I can't. We've run aground. Hold on, I'll see. We run aground. Well, no, we didn't we're run aground, but pushing it across the sand. Yeah, I wonder how shallow that gets up. Yeah, but what do you call yeah, this? Know. Running aground. No, no, running aground is when you're running and you hit the ground. That's like kook. I intentionally Hold this. pulled me onto the sand. So you intentionally ran us aground. I did not run us aground. <laughs> On a crab. Okay. If I step on top, we're both gonna we're gonna sink this thing. Okay, Dave. If we, what do you want me to do? Where do you want me to get it from? No, I'm just trying to assess the situation. I promise you, Kern. It's definitely from. Well, we'll know once we're getting in. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm sitting there. No, he's legal. Okay, you see him, Ruth? Oh. Okay, can you come up here and look? Yeah. But yeah. I'm afraid this you is... see him in there? I don't know if you'll be able to see him. Okay, see you him see him right there. there. You see him right there. His eyes? No, no, no. See him right Okay, see, he's right there. there. See the white stripe right there? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, here's your gift. I'm freaking something way different. Where do I hit him? I in the head. Nose. That's you his nose. Slide it down to him a little bit. No, He's not going to spit. No, get it close. They're dumb as wrong. Get, you're just going to put it. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Don't get, don't get, don't get. Okay, Jeff, push it back up there. Push One it second. Up it's okay. Calm down. You can see him, right? Okay, yeah, I see him. You're going to stab him, stab hard, but just... He looks pretty small. Get on the other side of the boat real quick. There's too much weight up here. I can do it from here. Get it down. Okay. Okay. All right, Ruth. You want me to get right over top of him? Slide it down, down. Okay, go ahead and hit it. Dab, dab, hold him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Push it down. Hold him. Can you hold him for a second? Okay, now pull it up. I can't. Give me the gig. No. Okay. Give me it. Give me it. You get him? Is he stuck he's on there? Oh, he's on there. Oh, he's pretty big. Bring him in real quick. Just swing him in. You got him. Swing him in. That's a mammoth oh, right there. Oh, yeah. Woo! That is a take. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Stud. Nice one, Chad. Okay, guys. We see a flounder. Okay. We're just going to drift up on it. Push it. Push no, no, no. Just push drift. It. Just drift. Okay, pull us over there, Pam. Hopefully hit him in the head here. Slide my uh, geek down to him. Get him. Now, dig in. Okay, 
All right, and now I'm gonna scoop them up. You can't pick them up straight. It's gotta scoop. It's gotta scoop. Perfect. Ooh. You wanna put them in the boat now? Oh, I'm hungry. Playing deep. them in the mangroves. Why don't? I'm, I'm hungry. Shine, shine. <laughs> All right. <laughs> What's the key to this? Got him. That's that's right, flounder yeah. number three. <laughs> Here's what we got going on so far. We've got the big boy. Chad gigged him. Riz I'm not Flounder. So big, but definitely legal. <laughs> yep. She. How, tell us what happened. We were just driving by and I, he, I caught us. I don't know, Shelly. Please stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Anyway, you're, there's Chad's just for us. You are going to cut okay, me out check, of there. Check this out. No, I'm not. You're saying. No. So look at the size of this, guys. Oh, boy. We. Turbulence. Oh. Let me flip him over so you can see on the white side. Dang. That's All right. Fair, now guys. I'm going to do a little bit of explaining because I saw something very interesting. Ruth, will you take the camera for me and video me if you can get me in there? So I saw something very interesting the other day. And it was that, I think it was on TikTok actually. But so flounder have the eyeballs, or two eyeballs, on the right side of their body, right? Fluke have it on the left side. So basically, I didn't even know there was much of a difference other than fluke get huge, but I guess that is the difference is that fluke are on the left, flounder are on the right. By the way, we're gonna clean these up and eat them because they are delicious, a little bit mushy, but really good. We are back at the dock. This is our catch of the night, three flounder, which is actually really good because a lot of the times we come out here and we don't even get one flounder. And this one, check this one out. Chad shot this one and it is huge. Look, look at these teeth, babe. That right there, if that, if that's an angry flounder. So what we've got here for the light setup, I'm not gonna go into too much detail because we're pulling the boat out of the water, but this is what our light setup looks like. If you guys want to know how it's made or how to do it, drop a comment below. And me and Dave, who's actually videoing for me right now, my brother, will show you how to make it because he's the wizard behind this creation. For our gig, where is our gig? Right here. Right here. We've got the trident. Let's see the end on that so thing. Sometimes, here we go. Sometimes we use slip tip pole spears, but this is really the way to get the job done because look at all of these brawns. So, as for the setup, that's that. We had Ruth on the boat, cousin Ruth, hey. she lives the street over. Dave and Chad, my brothers, and we're ready. We're actually gonna put these on ice before we clean them because it's a little bit easier. They're not as mushy um, when they're cold. So we're gonna clean them up tomorrow. We'll show you how to do that. Uh, it, it'll come up soon. We're back. It's the next day after we went flounder gigging. Our flounder's nice and cold and a little bit stiffer, so we should be able to clean it a little bit easier. For starters, gonna start out at the top of the head here. I should really get you curved Yeah, this knife's a little bit dull, but that's okay. This is not my Victor Knox, that's for sure. Just work our uh, way down the backbone here and I'll try to get as much meat as I can. Put a little nick in it there. Whoops. Oh yeah. So I think I said it last night, but flounder are a little bit of a mushier fish. They have great flavor, but they definitely um, are not a firm fish. Now the guts are somewhere in here. I'm gonna try to avoid it the best I can, but And we are heading to the Keys tomorrow. I'm super excited for, hopefully we'll shoot some, I would love to shoot a nice black grouper. That would be the goal for me. So to make this easier, I'm gonna go and uh, do this like I do on other fish and just kind of sweep my knife down. So break through the rib cage here, turn it, and then try to keep it as close as you can. Ooh, sharp. too close to the cameraman. Beautiful. And 
now we'll flip him and do the same thing. Now that we're on the to the other side, I'm going to point out that it's pretty much the exact same thing, except for the fact that there's a little bit less meat on this side than there is the other side. So not a lot, but it's a little bit thinner because it is the belly, maybe just not as much muscle. I'm not really sure, but that's what tends to be the case. So we've kind of thrown up a few ideas on how we're going to cook these. Thought about maybe doing like a, uh, a stuffed, kind of how you would do a crab stuffed mushroom. We've also thought about maybe stuffing them with scallops or something. This one I'm cleaning a basic way. We do have the big one um, that we can still decide with what we're gonna do, but this. They're really hard to grab because they're so flat that there's no like ridges to follow Chad and Dave are here with me, and uh, we're I got the big we've one. been kind of Chad got the big one. Oh. Okay. And on the on the belly, yeah, you don't the, get as much meat. It's hard to pick that up, but anyway, there you go. On the big one, you'll get more. But I did miss this little tiny tail piece, which honestly wouldn't have yielded much anyway. It's so thin. But there you have it. We have. Oh yeah, show Chad's big one. Chad, how big do you think this thing is? Look at look at the hand on this thing. I'd say three pounds. Three pounds, really? That's it? Yep. It looks so much bigger. I don't know, we haven't got one that big in a while, but anyway, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and uh, don't forget to follow along as well for the little peas trip that we're going on. It's going to be a ton of fun, and I have a lot in store. So I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.